How's the parade? Did your pro queen look her best? She did. She looked really good. You didn't want to stay and be your bodyguard? No, I think she was sad I had to leave, but uh, I had other plans. Imagine it. Where does she think you are? Getting my first surfing lesson from you? Well, I better start teaching you. When do you go back? I leave around August 25th, I think. We have time then. Is this gonna be like last summer? Do you want it to be? Do you? that for an answer. Good answer. I'm sorry. Yeah, I heard it too. Maybe we should just be chill, I guess, when we're out in public. Yeah. When we're at each other's houses, or cars, that's fine. But outside in the daytime. I don't want Reese to know. Or my parents. At least not yet. Were you gonna tell Bridget about you? <laughs> no, I don't plan on it, for now. Figure it out this summer. I have to tell you something before the others get here. I came in the mail at my parents' house the other day. No return address. I know. What does that mean? It came the day after we drove around. Oh shit. So someone saw us. And you didn't tell me the second you got it? I wanted to, it's just been a couple of days. Shit, Jesse. The day after we hook up the first time in a while, you get this? Who could it be? Maybe Bridget or Reese. You know, they almost caught us that one time last summer. Wait. This is a prank. Your house. What? You live in the Julie James house. You know the story. She gets a random creepy note in the mail, and then her friends die one by one. The Southport Slasher. Shit, the anniversary. 25 years ago. It's a dumb joke. But we haven't gotten one of these in years past. It's this anniversary is special or whatever. I don't think this is about you. Or us. Someone's fucking around. <laughs> hey, studs. Oh my god, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Looks like you guys were having a deep conversation. Hmm? Why so serious? You got me good. <laughs> Hello, Croco Queen. It is I. 
Only the queen for one more hour, though. Wah, wah. <laughs> the croaker has to croak every fourth. How's the rest of the parade? It was nice. Just the right amount of all American corny. <laughs> <laughs> How was surfing, boys? Did my boo do well? Yeah, it was a good start. <laughs> oh my god, is that Mad Missy? Oh wow, it's the slash anniversary. Her brother, right? That's so sad. Yeah, he got killed on 4th of July in 96. The Southport slasher, Ben Willis. Oh my god, my dad is still so paranoid about that story and about crazy people in general that he put a keypad on our front door. So now I have to memorize a code, but he says it's safer than a key. Wow, maximum security. I know. <laughs> there she goes. Probably not the best medicine. My neighbor said she's brought to the ER at least once a year because of some overdose or accident. So why did Ben Willis kill her brother? I never knew all the details. So her brother David was engaged to Ben Willis's daughter, right? Susan, or Susie, I think. Yeah, and she was in the passenger seat when David was driving drunk on July 4th, 1995. Mm. She died. That made Will snap. So it was for revenge. And then a year later, after he killed David, Willis was hit by a car in Reefer's Curve on Highway 1. <sighs> Gotten way too fast around that curve. Yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! I can hear you, you know. Have some respect. This might be some fun, scary story for y'all. He was my brother. It was real. David. I am so sorry, we'll stop. We didn't mean to offend you. No one knows how hard it is, huh? It's all fun, right? The Southport Slasher. He was real. He is real. I've been seeing him at night in my window, in my mind. He haunts me, not satisfied yet with his revenge. He'll never have a family. Neither will I. You tell your families you love them. Jesus. I don't think I've ever heard her speak. That was scary. Like, put the drugs down. Be nice. She's had a hard life. So, she was saying she sees Ben Willis, but he's dead, isn't he? Well, they never found him. Apparently. They found his hand once that couple left. Didn't he supposedly follow Julie James and her friends on vacation? No, that was just a rumor. Jesse lives at Julie James's house. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Spooky, huh? Any mysterious notes? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you did last summer. So is she still alive? And her boyfriend? No one knows. I'm sure if they are, they change their names. Mysterious couple missing. Tragic urban legend. Wait, wasn't one of the victims a croaker queen? Yeah, Helen Shivers, 96 to 97. We have a picture of her backstage. Does it freak you out that she died on this night 25 years ago? Well, when you say it like that, yeah, Hank, now I'm freaked. Yeah, me too. We should probably get going out anyways. Aw, my rain is coming to an end. I have to pee. Can you come with me? <laughs> Seriously? Fine. <laughs> I'll protect you. <laughs> I'll put this out. We'll meet you at the car. All right, guys, don't be late. <laughs> See ya.
Jesse. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Here's a good spot. Go pee, Tipsy. Good spot for a kiss. Come on, Bridget. Don't you open the pageant? Come on. It's kind of sexy in a battle movie kind of way. Turn around, please. You guys have been drinking, so I'm driving. Tiara, gonna be late. Very funny, guys. You got me. Hey? I told you. He's back. Oh my god, what happened to you? He came for me because of David. Oh my god. Hey, call 911! Too late. Get out of here. He's not done. Oh, oh my god, stay away from us. He's real. Ben Willis. Good. So you've been doing your homework too. Oh my God, Bridget! Oh my God, please! I'm sorry. I'm the one that wrote the note. I wrote the stupid note. Please, just leave us alone. I'm so sorry. Time to die. No! Thank you. 